Thank you for joining me for another Quick Hits Conversation. I'm Dr. Robin, AKA Mental MacGyver. I provide luxury level high performance support and coaching to executives, founders, celebrities, and athletes. With me today, I have Alexi Bracey. She is Mission Happiness, promoting happiness for no reason, bouncing back after cancer, and dementia prevention specialist. I have Shell Shapiro. She's a marketing strategist for wellness coaches and consultants and recognized as one of the top 15 LinkedIn experts in New York City, as well as the author of the book, Loving Yourself Isn't Selfish. And I am Mario P. Fields. He's a Marine Corps veteran, small business owner, and host and producer of the podcast, Unarmored Talk. The question I have today, why are you resilient and able to bounce back from adversity? <laughs> Alexi, let's kick us off. Well, I use different um, sort of modalities. Number one, First of all, I just accept that mistakes are to be made. Be grateful for them. Um, what lesson is there to be learned? And really accept your pain, your anger, your disappointment, because we're all human. Reach out to friends. When you talk to yourself, practice a little bit of self-compassion, the same self-compassion you would offer a friend. So you don't beat yourself up for the mistakes you made because we're all human. Practice mindfulness. Um, be kind to yourself, go out in nature, do things that, that feed your soul and uh, enrich your heart, whether it's walks by the water um, with your pets, uh, a long bath, beautiful music, meditations, um, be really positive. A mindset goes a long way. Positivity goes a long way. Read inspirational books, watch uh, movies that maybe inspire you, people that uh, were down and out and they succeeded because we're all human. Thank you, Alexi. Mario, why are you resilient? So for me, Dr. Robin, I, I would say the power of self-reflecting, like reflecting. I mean, there are some events in my life that I chose, like I knew about Paris Island, South Carolina, or starting a business. I mean, come on, a nonprofit at that. Good gosh. <laughs> mm. That's that's brutal in my belief. So there are some situations in life I knew was going to be challenging. I knew it was going to be dynamic, mentally stressful, whatever. But then there's the events in life that happens that you don't see coming, the external factors. But self-reflecting going, how did I make it through that? What was my mindset, my faith, my belief, my spiritual state of mind? How did I make it through that? And then developing those kind of learning from those new behaviors and then reinforcing them, getting ready for, for the next whatever event comes the next day. So that's how I believe that I became resilient is really reflecting on the past experiences. Mm, I've made it this far. I can certainly make it forward. Yeah. Shell. Well, I love what Mario said about how do I make it? How did I make it through that? Um, and for me, it's been a lot of, I'm going to make it through that. I'm not even asking myself the question of how did I do that? Or why would I do that? Um, it's, I know I'm going to, and it's just a matter of overcoming it. And if I think back to some of the experiences in my life, where I've had to be resilient. It's been at times when people have challenged me or put me down and said that I'm never going to surpass this level or I will never make it without them. And it's kind of like, yes, it's meant to be a slap in the face, but the slap in the face is really, ha ha, I'm going to show you that mm -hmm. moment that I have. That sounds like a challenge that you will not win because mm -hmm. now that, now that you think that I know differently. And even if that wasn't a thing, it doesn't matter what you think or what the end outcome is. I'm going to prove you wrong, but I'm also going to prove myself right. And I'm going to show the world what I'm capable of. And so I embrace those challenges and that adversity because I know that I'm going to come out better on the other side, as, especially as a lifelong learner. So it's not a matter of how did I do that? It's how can I keep doing this? How can I keep showing the world that I'm resilient and I'm here? That makes sense. I think about the things that I went through in my 20s and even into my 30s. And I used to tell people I didn't have a choice. Like I had to do it. I just didn't have a choice. And somebody pointed out to me, no, Robin, you could have ended up a, a crack addict rocking in a quarter. That was a choice. You had that opportunity and you didn't. And so for me, I think resilience is about just deciding I'm going to do whatever the next thing is. I'm not going to think about 
tomorrow or six weeks from now, or even an hour from now, I'm going to do whatever the next thing is. I'm going to get up and I'm going to go to work, or I'm going to get up and I'm going to do the next thing. That is the only way I've made it through some of the things I've made it through is just doing the next minute only. There was a really interesting posting in Inc. email this morning that Steve, what Steve Jobs said, he said, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. Mm -hmm. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. This approach has never let me down and it has made all the difference in my life. So that sounds like just the belief that you will sort it. Go ahead, Mario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I totally agree in the power of mindset. I mean, I'm five oh, foot yeah. two and a half. I mean, every, I mean, just going back from a teenager, every picture of a United States Marine, it was six foot. And here I am five foot two. And they're like, you sure you want to join that branch of service? I'm like, why not? And like you said, the power of the mindset going, you know what? And it, you know, like what was mentioned earlier, you know what? You guys don't think I can do it. But watch this. I'm going to mm -hmm. put my mind to it. I might struggle a little bit, may have to run a little bit faster because I have little legs, but you know what? We're going to do this. And I actually ended up graduating number one out of 500 people. So absolutely. Oh, yeah. I mean, years ago. But yeah, so the power, <laughs> we're not going to say how long ago, but the power of mindset. So the question I would like to ask you, if you had the opportunity to give someone who's going through something really struggling, they have to be resilient right now because it's really tough. What advice would you give them right now in the moment? So a good friend of mine, John Chapelier, often talks about his gift of devastation. And like it's getting to that critical moment where something happens that like, propels you to create change. Like there's no other, there's no other option there because you've gone as far as you can go with. And what he says that always sticks out to me is you have a choice to accept it, change it, or leave it, your circumstances, whatever they are. So no matter what you're going through, you, to your point, Dr. Robin, you do have a choice. You always have it. And what choice will you make to get through this? If you're okay with what, what's there, if you can live with that and you want to accept it, great. You've made that choice. If you want to leave it behind and move on to something new, you also have that choice. But if you want to change it, you, that is all your, within your power. So as long as you remember that the power, the choice is yours, adversity is just naturally something that you're going to overcome because you've kept that power and choice with you. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Alexi, would you like to go next? Well, you know, like the old saying is, if you think you can, you're right. And if you think you can't, you're also right. So if power, like it's been said, of mindset, I was diagnosed with cancer more than 20 years ago. And I remember distinctly when the phone call came. And as I was hanging up the phone, I knew in my heart of hearts I was going to be there. I had no idea. I knew nothing about cancer or diet or anything. I just knew I was going to do it because I had such a strong and positive mindset. And within a year without any medical intervention, drugs or surgery, I was cancer free. And my big driver was mindset. And it always has been. Nice. Mario? Yeah, I would add, first of all, and, and just so you guys know, I interviewed Dr. Robin on episode 53 on Armor Talk. So if you guys haven't checked it out, check out episode 53 on, on Armor Talk podcast. But the 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 thing the thing that I if I saw would give anyone would be don't try to do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Life is a journey. It's an individual journey, but you can reduce the turbulence and get the seatbelt signs off uh, if you l leverage your network. If people like Dr. Robin and, and all the wonderful ladies on the panel, and of course that that podcast episode that you you really inspired me. Use your network, use people around you to help you get through whatever challenge you're going through or whatever one's going to come up tomorrow. And that brings up a really good point because I think often when we're going through challenges. We, in my TEDx talk, I talk about going to an empty well. And when you learn there's no water in a well, stop going there looking for a drink. You have to go find a different well. So if, if you are trusting your network and your network isn't helping you, you might be leaning on the wrong people. And that's one of the biggest challenges, I think, for me and my journey of becoming resilient was learning that not everyone is a good person to lean on. Not everyone has your best interest in mind. Not everyone's going to give you good advice. And you have to start learning to trust yourself to pick the right people. And if you're not picking the right people, then change 
change that. I think that that would be the advice that I would give. So I want to thank you so much for having this conversation with me. I knew that the three of you would have really good thoughts to share about resilience and how you've come through adversity. So thank you so much. And I look forward to speaking to each of you again really soon.